Ahoy, ragamuffins. Jamie here, getting ready to lead you through a quick, less than 10 minute Tabata workout. So this Tabata workout is, we're gonna be doing six exercises twice. 20 seconds with a 10 second rest transition time that you know your body better than I do. Take a break whenever you need it. I've really been enjoying these quicker workouts. Um, so that's why I wanted to put a lot more on the channel. Put a lot more, put a lot more, put a lot more. So what are we gonna be needing as far as equipment? Nothing today, but make sure you always have something for balance um, nearby if needed, an open area and maybe a mat on the ground if you like some, if you like some cushion. So grab your water bottle, grab your towel, and let's get ready to move. All right, ragamuffins, 10 seconds, and we're gonna get ready to get into our warm up, starting with a twisting march. Rolling shoulders back, hands out wide. We're gonna come into right to left, left to right. You can lift the heels, you can bring knees up. Exhaling out, marching and twisting. I just realized I didn't take this out of the background. There we go, problem solved. <laughs> You all don't want to know what's on the other side. Uh, squat to arm crosses, holding here, arm cross, right over left, left over right. No equipment needed today. We're going to get our heart rate up, coming into a squat and crossing those arms. Two. Jogging in place, coming into this jog here, light on the feet. If you have downstairs neighbors, maybe you don't wanna bring it into a high impact jog. If you'd like to, you can, or you can keep it low impact here, adding direction up and back or side to side. Windmills, hands are crossed. We're gonna come into a, uh, excuse me, hip hinge as we come to the side. If that feels uncomfortable for any reason, come into a windmill here or a windmill here, rotation, rotation. Windmill coming into that deadlift. All right, circuit one, round one, we're gonna start with a squat clap. So eight seconds, squat. You do not have to clap underneath. You can if you'd like. If not, we're gonna come into a squat and bring hands down below knees. So knee bend, knees alongside toes and alternating that right to left here. If you want, bring it into a clap, maybe bring it into a kick, or keep it in that lifting hands up and down. All right, three pulse wide hop squat. So here, toes are a little bit wide here, wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna come one, two, and three pulse step in. One, two, three pulse step into the other side. So I have my weight midfoot heels and I'm coming into pulse, pulse, pulse here. If you want to add that jump in the middle or a hop, you can add a hop. Just make sure you're coming into that nice form in between. 10 second break, front kicks to punch. So here, we're going to start here. <laughs> it seems like a dance move. Da, 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 and add some punches, add some punches here. Okay, if you want to make this a little bit quicker, you can add speed, you can add a little bit of hop. You can be here, here's the base move. Here, cross, kick and cross, or here. You can even go high with your hands. 10 seconds coming into a low squat touchdown. Ooh, side to side here. So you determine the depth of the squat. Coming down, or excuse me, this kind of side lunge heel is coming up on either side so if you want you can come a little bit lower just make sure that gaze stays forward and you're not coming down here really rounding that back core stays engaged here or here lots of options in between all of those coming into a scissor jack i did this with a client yesterday it seemed like kind of like a nordic track here okay so you can do same side arms coming back or you can do opposite, so either or. Now there's, I did opposite. You can add a hop in between each. You can add a quick piece here. This is where I'll call it kind of the Nordic track. <laughs> 
dating myself. <laughs> Nordic Drax. Ah, ah. Low squat knee tap. So what we're gonna do here, knees are alongside toes, and then we're gonna come into a knee tap. So you're kind of lifting the knee, meeting it here, but we're not coming all the way into back into a stand. Go ahead and do so if that feels good for you. <sighs> or you can stay in this pulse here. Squat pulse side to side, pushing through those heels, knees alongside toes. You can make it into a, a walk if you want. So that was round one. We're gonna do that whole thing one more time. And you, maybe you feel your heart rate up, maybe you feel a little bit warm. Remember the timer and I are just guides. We got 10 seconds. We're gonna go through those whole exercises one more time. So love these quick ones. Two squat claps coming down. Again, hands can be up here and reach under. You can have a clap if you want to add a little bit of play. Hey, we love play around here. Down and coming, bringing those arms down and underneath. So that was the last time, we're, every time we're doing the last one here. So that was squat claps. Now we're coming into that three wide pulse and in. Pulse, three pulse, and in, or you can come into a three pulse hop, or a little bit of a hop when you're coming into that center one. <sighs> Good. Here, pulse. I always, I kind of like to bring my hands behind like that. Ha! Like that pose. All right, front kick to punch. So we're starting here. Make sure you have strong. Um, legs in this kick that you're not flailing them out and then having that punch up top. So here, low impact, here, here, or you can take out that upper body and have kick only front kick. Low squat touchdown. We're going to come to the side, bringing those heels out to the side. Do, 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 two and one. Sometimes I just get those little beats in my head. You can add direction. Side and breathing. Maybe you wanna come down lower, add a little hop in the center. Just make sure knee that knee is lining up with that toe as you come side to side. 10 seconds, scissor jacks. I'll call these Nordic tracks in the beginning. Ooh, doo, doo. Seems like a dance move too. So. Hand comes up, foot comes back. You can have that same foot come back or you can have opposite foot come back. Whatever comes, just like feels a little more natural. You can add a hop, scissor, scissor, scissor. Elbows are soft. Hey, and pulling, breathing, two, and one. Good. All right, low squat, knee taps. Coming into that low squat, either staying in that low squat or coming up in between. Tapping that knee, lifting that knee. If I'm staying low, it looks like this. If I'm coming up, it looks like this. Coming up and down. Nice job. So heels alongside toe, uh, toes alongside knees. Coming down and one. Whew, getting ready to cool down. Yeah, these quick workouts, I, I like them because you know sometimes getting out of our head of how much time a movement session or a workout could be is tough. So I like to offer all these different variations of time. Step, tap, side to side, bringing that heart rate down. And in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Ah, thank you so much for joining me for that workout. Um, I hope you enjoy these quick ones. I'm planning on adding more to this section, side to side stretch, reaching up and over as I think the, the five minute movements have been popular. So, um, you know, keep adding all various types of workouts as well as time of workouts. Breathing good. Hip flexor, we're gonna step back, tuck the hip, engage the glute. And then we're gonna come into that other side. Step back, tuck. Engage breathing, squeezing that glute, getting that hip flexor stretch in there, 
and then we're gonna come into a hamstring, dig that heel into the ground, hold for 10 seconds, hinge. You can hold on to something for balance. Always pull, breathe. Coming up and hinge, toe up, heel down, breathing. Awesome, awesome job, Ragamuffins. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to know what you thought in the comments. Um, if you all like this workout, how you feel physically, emotionally, whatever, all is welcome. Remember, movement for more, because you were made for more. I'll see y'all next time.